Hello and welcome to Flippin' Through, the internet's number one vintage Mad Magazine review, news, and interview site. Scoop McLean here, coming with some breaking news. If you've read the title of this video, you know what it's about, uh, but I will thank you for watching. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, if you enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share it out with somebody. Uh, if you hate it, share it out with somebody you hate. Anyway, um, let's cut to the chase. Last night, I or yesterday, or was that today? At some point in my life, I shared a video about a Washington Post article regarding the retirement of one Al Jaffe from Mad Magazine. And in that article, the author, Michael Canva, stated that this would be the last uh, issue of Mad Magazine that would include new material. Now, it was hidden away in the like second paragraph, and I focused in on it right away, and that raised all kinds of alarms for me that worried me because I've, of course, I want a magazine that is 100% new material, but until we get that back, uh, I'm, I am pleased to have new and old material mixed together. And I think that there's such a great backlog of old material that uh, most people haven't read. And so I, I think that it could be, uh, it's, it's not a bad thing for the, uh, for the short term. But I reached out, as I said in the previous video, to Mad Magazine to ask them if this was indeed true. And at the recording um, of the previous video, I had not heard back. I had gotten no reply. And, you know, it had been like over 24 hours. And, you know, I, I took no offense to it. And uh, <laughs> why would they reply to seemingly a random person on the internet? Uh, well, this afternoon, they did reply to a random person on the internet. And before I tell you uh, fully what they told me, I want to go back to that Washington Post article. Um, so if we go back here, Mad Magazine legend Al Jaffe retires. All of that is the same. Um, now, where my kind of uh, alarm bells were going off was in the second paragraph. In the second paragraph, it said, it will be the last. But it has been changed. Um, and the, the person, uh, my, my inside source, my inside source told me that, uh, that they had, they reached out to Michael Canva or to the Washington Post and asked that it be that wording be changed. Um, now it says it will be one of the magazine's last issues to offer new material. Uh, personally, not that much better. Um, it's it's kind of a, a small correction, but it is a dis there's a, a distinction between one of and the last. So. The the uh, the the person that and I'm I'm trying to be careful not to to give any hint as to uh, who they are because uh, they asked me politely to not mention them and so I'm I'm gonna I want to be very respectful of that because they really didn't need to reply to me um, I would not have been uh, hurt or offended any any way but uh, in addition to saying that uh, Michael Canva was incorrect in that writing. They gave me a little bit more information, which is um, Mad Magazine is going to be continuing to be published with a mixture of new material and old material for at least, and this person used the term at least, to the end of the year. Now, what happens after that, we don't know. But uh, we can expect, I guess, until come January, that when we receive our Mad Magazines, whether it's at a comic book shop or in via subscription, that it will have <clears throat> some new material in it. Um, now, like I said, I mean, uh, in a perfect world, it would be all new material. But in the meantime, in this world we're in, the fact that we have at least um, a guarantee of new and old material, we have... Also, then, a guarantee of continued publication, 
or that long is perfect. Add to that, they are still pushing for subscriptions. Now, I don't, I don't think petitions really do much. I'm not going to start like a change.org petition to save Mad Magazine. But what I will say is this. I want more people to get subscriptions to Mad Magazine. And uh, when, when people are surprised, when I bring up Mad Magazine and say things like, that's still published? I say, heck yeah, it's still published. Um, you know, we've seen uh, DC, which owns Mad Magazine, uh, and while well, AT&T bought, you know, AT&T, Warner Brothers, DC, Mad Magazine, we've seen that like things with the Snyder Cut, when they're, they can see that money is there to be made, they'll they'll make that money right and so i encourage uh i encourage you if you're watching this video to go and sign up for a subscription to mad magazine um if you have a friend give that as a gift to friends or enemies anyway um that at this point i'm just babbling on needlessly uh so that to me great news mad magazine continuing to publish new material at least to the end of the year so thank you so much for watching and toodaloo.